welcome to the Philips Intelliview Patient Monitoring Microlearnings. In this video, I will talk about patient data in trends. Let's get started. Trends are patient data collected over time and displayed in a graphic, a tabular or a histogram form to give you a picture of how your patient's condition is developing. Trend information can be viewed embedded as a screen element on specially designed screens in your monitor. Here you can see an example. Or you can open a trend window over your current screen. To open a trend window, select the main setup key and then trends and then select the trend you want to view. Or you can just use one of the dedicated smart keys. There is a smart key to view a tabular trend called Vitals Trend. There is a smart key to display a graphical trend called Graph Trend. And there may also be a smart key to view histogram trends. When you open a trend window, a selection of pop-up keys appears to let you navigate through the stored trend data. And you can carry out trend-related tasks. I can move the cursor, for example, to navigate through the trend's timeline. And I can change the interval time of the trend. I can select a trend group from a list to view specific measurements. And I could print a trend report. And I can switch this view to a graphical trends view and return back. The currently selected column is highlighted and look, here you see an aperiodic measurement with a timestamp. Now let us take a closer look at histogram trends. Histogram trends are graphical trends showing the percentage of time that a measurement value is within a specific range. This is useful when it is important to know the amount of time a patient was in a certain range. In the title, you can read the name of the measurement and the resolution of the data. The horizontal axis displays the range for the measurement values and the unit of measure for the parameter. The vertical axis shows the percentage of time. The columns on the foreground show you how much of the time the measured values fell into this range. In this case, the SpO2 value was between 93 and 94% during 29% of the last 12 hours. The arrow mark over a column shows that the currently measured value is in this range. The columns in the background show the cumulative percentage value. You can switch the cumulative columns off using the pop-up key Curve On or Off. And you can also use the pop-up key to change the measurement and the time period or the range. And you can print the histogram report. One other great feature is that you can span a corridor with two cursors. This way you can divide a histogram into in-range and out-of-range areas. Or you can set both cursors to the same value and then use them as one cursor to divide a histogram into an upper and a lower segment. It is possible that you have screens in your monitor that display combinations of trends. For example, histogram view. This is a combination of a graphical trend and a histogram. And this, this is horizon view. Horizon view presents trend information superimposed over a defined baseline or base range. It helps you visualize changes in your patient's condition since the baseline was set. You can see a graphical trend, a trend indicator arrow, and a deviation bar. The trend arrow indicates how the patient trend has developed over a set time period. 
the deviation bar shows how the currently measured value deviates from the horizon. The horizon is the reference value to which deviations in the measurement are compared. You can set your horizon value, a trend scale and the time period for the trend indicator arrow. Well, that's it for now. Check out our other microlearning videos too. Thank you for watching.